Alright, so the new update for the Vanilla Expanded mod adds in four new items for this mod. So it adds in the Rifle Turret Mark 1, we have the Torpedo Turret Mark 2, the Plasma Turret Mark 1, and then we also have... We have another item inside in the Fabricator, but I'm going to show that a little bit later on. But for the people who've never seen this mod before, this mod adds in a bunch of new stuff into the base game of Subnautica. So we have the large solar panel, the three turrets that I'm going to show today. And then we have the cabinet, storage space, the sci-fi crate, the locker, and it also adds a battery power generator. Shout out to Noobskin Penguin because they are the one who actually told me that this mod had an update the other day. And I appreciate it because I probably would have never seen this update until maybe like a few days down the line. Thank you for letting me know. All right, so here we have our two Rifle Turret Mark 1s down and they both look, you know, pretty unique. They have a nice little industrialist look to them, I think. Now, when you put these turrets down, you actually have to fill them up with ammo. So you have to go down to the bottom and it'll say open storage. You just open up the storage and that's where you're gonna put the ammo. So to craft the ammo for the turrets, you just need to go into your fabricator, go into resources, basic materials, and then you'll see the ammo right down here. We got Rifle Turret Mark 1 ammo, Torpedo Turret, Plasma Turret. All right, so now our turrets have ammo and now they're ready to shoot at things, but they are by default, they're only programmed to shoot at a few things. So to, in order to change what you want the turrets to shoot at, because they can shoot at any creature in the game. So in order to do that, you need to look at the turret that you want to change specifically, and you're just gonna press T. It's gonna bring up this little menu right here, and then you can just edit which creatures you want the turret to shoot at. So I can make it shoot at like a peeper if I wanted to. Let's just do that just to test. Now there's targeting peepers, it's gonna shoot at the peepers. But this one over here does not do anything because you have to you have to program all the turrets individually, so keep that in mind. Okay, no more peepers. The peepers aren't doing anything. Stop shooting them, stop shooting them. Stop shooting them, boy. I'm giving you orders. Listen to me. Hey, for some odd reason, these turrets, whenever I tell them to do things, they sort of don't like it, and now he's trying to aim at me and shoot me. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just let me just get right here. This is a safe spot. Oh my gosh, man. Okay, whatever. This turret is still going AWOL over here. He's shooting at the Reaper now, which is, you know, what he's supposed to be doing. I don't know what this turret on the left is doing, but, you know, whatever. He just yanked my pawn suit. And now he's in the... What is... Bro, this save game might be corrupted. Oh, what is this man doing? And now my pawn suit's stuck on the... Can you stop shooting me? Dang! Okay, so the rifle turret Mark 1, they're sort of like the weakest out of all the turrets. They shoot really slow, as we can see. Super slow fire rate. The projectiles move kind of slow, and they don't shoot very fast either. And they also do pretty low amounts of damage, so they're kind of just like okay. But when you get to the other two turrets, the torpedo and the plasma turret, that's when... You, know, you can really start doing some damage. All the turrets have different effects as well, like this one's shooting those little yellow beams out, and he's missing entirely. All right, but the rifle turret Mark One out the way, we can now move on to the more uh, dead. We can move on to the more deadly turrets, like the torpedo turret. So when we put the torpedo turrets down, now these are the more dangerous turrets. These ones especially because they shoot like actual like mini rockets, and they. And if you are standing next to one, when it blows up, it will dang near insta kill you. All right, now that the Reaper's in, they're both gonna target that. Yep, and now they're just gonna light it up with all those rockets. Oh my gosh, he, yeah, he, he, he felt those. I know he felt those. Now, if there's one thing I've noticed with this turret mod is whenever the Reapers, whenever the Reapers start to get hit by the turrets, they typically start to just like run away because they do it every time I spawn one of these turrets in. Okay, there's the Reaper. And now we can see the turrets are now going to just launch all the torpedoes at the Reaper and they heat seek, so they're just gonna follow the Reaper no matter where it goes. I mean, it's just a line of missiles behind them. He's really trying to outrun it. But this is what I was talking about. The Reapers always, they just start running away from the turret fire. I don't know if that's something that the turrets do or it's just because the way they're programmed, like the Reapers are programmed or what. But as we can see, the Reaper is now out of range and the torpedoes can no longer reach him. Oh, that's cool. That turret, the, it's cool how the, um, before I blew up, we could all see that the um the inside of the turrets, whenever they shoot out the torpedoes, it actually goes empty for a few seconds and then it comes back. Yeah, see, it's empty right there and then it'll come back in a few seconds. But yeah, this is the torpedo turret. It's one of the one of the stronger turrets because you know the torpedoes not only do a lot of damage, but they also track. So it's gonna be really hard for creatures to outrun and get away from the torpedoes unless they're you know like a leviathan they can tank shots but with that we can head on to the last turret that we have which is going to be the plasma turret mark one all right so the plasma turret mark one is basically like the rifle turret mark one except super beefed up so we can see it has four cannons now instead of two this one's going to shoot a lot faster it does a lot more damage and the projectiles move faster as well what are y'all shooting at i don't understand there's nothing out there 
hold your fire. All right, I'm gonna put this down. It's gonna shoot out those nice blue looking beams. But if only the Reapers weren't so dang glitchy. There we go, shoot the sea dragon. There you go, light him up, light him up. Give him the treatment. Oh, the Reaper came back for more, okay. You see, even the sea dragon's running away from the turrets. Everybody's scared of the turrets, huh? Crazy, T they're all scared of technology. Not like this reef bank, the reef bank chill. Look at him floating around, cause he know he ain't gonna get shot. Oh, they found something again. They're just shooting at a rock. Oh, no, they're shooting at him. Okay, bet. They're all missing, but, you know, the effort's there. Look, look, turrets, turrets. Y'all are cool and all, but y'all need to hush. Y'all have to hush. It's simply too loud. I can't. I can't. It hurts my ears. Why is the sea dragon coming? As soon as I pick the turrets up, so for this dude right here, as soon as I pick up the turrets, you want to come back. Let me go back outside. I'm going to put this turret right back down, and he's going to go running again. So the other item that you can now get is going to be in the basic materials. So you go to resources in your fabricator, basic materials, and then you'll be able to see this cooked reaper meat right here. And that's because with this mod now, you can actually, you know, harvest meat off of the reapers and eat it. Turret, can you focus on the, on, on, on the correct matter? Let me take the dang sea dragon off. Okay, neat detail. So the turret cannot shoot through the stasis right or can it? I can't tell. Oh, it can. The turret shots look like they're being affected by the stasis rifle field, so some of them aren't going through. So I guess that's a nice little detail. Stuck it. Ow. Lay down. All right, Reaper Leviathan down. To harvest the Reaper Leviathan meat for this mod, you have to kill a Reaper first because you can't get any meat off of Reaper while it's alive. And once the Reaper is dead, you can just go up to it with your knife and you just you know, hit it, and it'll drop the Reaper Leviathan meat that you can then go into the Fabricator and cook. Uh, Sea Dragon, I'm sorry you had to suffer, but you just would not get in the, get out the way and actually get some pretty, pretty overpowered food from the Reapers. But other than that, I think that's about all this new update adds to the Vanilla Expanded mod. There is one more update that's supposed to be coming out for this mod. The mod creator said on Nexus, it's supposed to be like a tower defense update, I believe, where like creatures, infected creatures will be able to come in and attack your base. So whenever that update comes out, I'll probably come back to this mod. And look at that one last time. Targeting for the turrets like a few seconds after some Sometimes they'll start shooting at you. I don't know why they do that, but you know, just keep that in mind when you put these stars down. But other than that, that is about all I have for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.